No! What's happening? So, this student returns. I've never been one to run. Never been one to listen, either. I still live because of it. What will I do with you? Let me go. Oh, Altair. I hear the hatred in your voice. Feel its heat. Let you go? Well, that would be unwise. Why are you doing this? I found proof. Proof of what? That nothing is true. And everything is permitted. Come. Destroy the betrayer. Send him from this world. Vigilantes you have freed to block your Bear's goal foul, and all along it was yours as well. I've never been much good at sharing. You won't succeed. Others will find the strength to stand against you. And this is why, so long as men maintain free will, there can be no peace. 
I killed the last man who spoke as such. Bold words, boy. But just words. Then let me go. I'll put words into action. <laughs> Tell me, master. Why did you not make me like the other assassins? Why allow me to retain my mind? Who you are and what you do are twined too tight together. To rob you of one would have deprived me of the other. And those Templars had to die. <sighs> but the truth is, I did try. In my study, when I showed you the treasure. But you are not like the others. You saw through the illusion. Illusion? That's all it's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? The Red Sea was never parted. Water never turned to wine. It was not the machinations of Iris that spawned the Trojan War, but this! Illusions! All of them! What you plan is no less an illusion. To force men to follow you against their will. Is it any less real than the phantoms the Saracens and Crusaders follow now? Those craven gods who retreat from this world that men might slaughter one another in their names? They live amongst an illusion already. I'm simply giving them another. One that demands less blood. At least they choose these phantoms. Or do they? Aside from the occasional convert or heretic? It isn't right. Ah. Now logic has left you. In its place, you embrace emotion. I am disappointed. What's to be done, then? You will not follow me, and I cannot compel you. And you refuse to give up this evil scheme. It seems, then, we are at an impasse. No, we are at an end. I will miss you, Altair. You were my very best student. Blind is all you've ever been. All you'll ever be.
Impossible. The student does not defeat the teacher. So it seems. You have won then. Go and claim your prize. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Then I will. We'll see about that. I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. Destroy it! Destroy it as you said you would! I... I can't. Yes, you can, Altair. But you won't. the map. How many? At least half a dozen. We don't need them all. We should assume some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. What the hell is that? I wonder. <laughs> 